These are part of the 45 Amazon men who have decided to risk their lives on a daily basis to ensure that the Mogadishu coastline is free from Al Shabaab remnants. They spend between six to eight hours patrolling the deep waters of Indian Ocean, which borders with the country's main airport. They are the first marine group to be deployed on the waters after realizing that the ocean had turned out to be a safe zone for the Al Shababs to carry out their attacks on both the landing and taking of airplanes. A boat crew as it would be consists of a commander. We have a coxswain whom you'd call a driver. Then we have the gunner and it consists of four people. We have mounted 12.7, which is, which is in front. Then we have 7.6, two PKMs. And all the people on the boat possess their personal weapons. But the operation on the waters seem not to be a smooth ride on the side of these men. On a daily basis, these marine officers face numerous challenges, ranging from manpower to weaponry, thus slowing down their efficiency to overrun the enemy force. We are 45 plus 06, and we are not enough to handle the situation on these waters. We have a problem of boats. The ribs that we possess here, as you can see them, do not have enough endurance to stay on the waters for the time required. The waters also have a direct effect on their lives, as the commandant of the marine group, Arvin Murunj, explains. There is vomiting. The water is salty. And the time that we take on the water, there is seasickness, but there is nothing to do. However, despite the challenges, the endurance has paid off, given now the booming business at this main seaport. Because of security, there are many more ships that are coming in here today. When we first came here in 2007, we are receiving just two ships every month. I'm told now they receive between 40 to 45 ships. That tells you that security has improved. Countries are now freely trading in Somali waters, and, and that is what we wanted. Julius Senkandua, NTV.